I don't know, Tom represents the king next up in his man. So yeah. check out the dog, YouTube page, or the body thing, or the body thing. I'm asking all the guys in the world for me. Boof, buff now. Boom, viewers, subscribers, back again with these quick updates because trust, if it's not a phone from King Mix Up, it's not credible. I keep on telling you that, but you don't know the thing said, PayPal. Bless up on itself, and I did, you know, but you know, my style already one bag of one and one. I gotta give you these daily updates from the people you see and you don't see on the screen. That's why it's extremely important to watch at the end so you don't miss a thing. You see me? I said, and with that being said, people, let's get straight into things. Okay, people, the police are probing a robbery that took place at the home of dancehall artist Kipridge in Portmore, St. Catherine. As you know, Kipridge, whose given name is Marlon Plunkett, reported that the thieves stole jewelry and thousands of United States and Canadian dollars. The incident happened on Friday morning, and it is reported that the thieves gained entry into the entertainer's house by forcing open a kitchen window. You see me, uh, seven people. Um, I'm not going to say Jamaica run red because thief they're everywhere on planet Earth. You see me, uh, say, um, but you need to take certain precautions to not make them job easy. Um, I don't know how they knew. Um, you know that his window was accessible um, just by prying it open. I don't know what type of windows he had on his house. You feel me? I don't know if he had a grills on top of his house, most likely. Uh, he didn't, you know, because, uh, mm -hmm. you know, grills are kind of a deterrent mm -hmm. um, for criminals. It not stop them, but, you know what I mean? Them not like for the work when them are blood clad teeth. <laughs> you see me, sir? Um, the details is sketchy. Um, I don't know if he was home at the time. Um, I don't know if he was... Uh, you know, doing a show or whatnot. You see me, I say, I mean, know that the coconut of Jamaica no good because it now wash off the criminal them art. You see me, I say, Jano, Jano. But, you know, it could be happening to anybody. You don't have to be a celebrity to get um, stuff stolen from. You see me, I say, the greatest thing is him still love him life. You see me, I say, because I just material things them God with. Um, I'm pretty sure it sucks, you know what I mean? Um, nobody doesn't mm -hmm. want to be robbed, you see me, sir. And these are the type of things that have people saying that, you know what, mm -hmm. they don't want to come back to the country and help because the people, X, Y, and Z. But like I said, people, there's criminals everywhere on planet Earth. So let's not isolate this as a Jamaican thing. Um, you don't know the thing said, man, the streets is hungry. And dance our celebrities is 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 quite foodable. <laughs> Some people are I say walking like you see me, I say. So I just be, take the extra precautions and that's what it is. So I say try bring fake jewelry I yard instead of the real thing, you see. I'm just like giving that update while going from out to go on, you see me, I say. Um I'm, I'm not sure if he had cameras at the house. We don't really know nothing, you see me, I say. I see some people saying it might be a stunt, but I don't think uh, <laughs> I don't think people would stoop this low. But then again, some artists I said them fake them life and all of these things. But anyway, let's proceed. Okay, people, they're rocking Dali straight out of Mobe now. Play, you know, cause she just drop a freestyle and I dis up every blood clot thing and she not afraid for car name. You see me? As you know, she has uh, issues with spice, cause you know she says spice just copying her style. From long time, you know what I mean? Singing with the microphone on top of our head top. You see me, I say, as well as she had this up, Lisa Hyper. Everybody, you feel me with her name, you see me, I say. As you know, um, what a boy named that do the same song the other day and asked what I go on. Um, bang, yang. <laughs> yeah. What is a yang? <laughs> boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yes, Gage the artist, you see me, I say, where I'm just talking about. Everybody, you feel me, with the bag of bag of that the blackest them done review about, you see me, I say. But them said these people names hold weight in other business and they're the gatekeepers and a lot of people don't want to be associated with the mix-up. I'm musicians, they say anything. When yes. you hear, I'm going to feel like put it in the music, I'm put it in the music and I'm a musician. I'm not chat about them, I'm not business about them. I don't yes. like them business. I, don't, I wish them all the best, but you see me? 
Me I work me and me I defend my career, me I work for my sister. But look like every Christ, them say Spice get it. Who the cap fit, she never call nobody name. Come and listen to that part the full time. <laughs> me listen to the part the full time. Or five, or six. Spice, turn up, a Spice attack. Say, the really the arm did for Dolly Baggy. Me and I know. Mm -hmm. Many of you are listening to the song. Go and listen. How we attack? Anybody want to look like Dali? Everybody. But she never called Spice name, so why do all of you mix up Spice over here? I know only Spice called the year, my love. My answer no more. Oh, my answer no more. Thank you. And because of the rhythm, people, we can't play the song. It's immersive as a hip hop beat, you feel me? Um, you know, from the 90s classic ish, you feel what I'm saying? But she talks about everybody, Sukiyana, SSL, you know, everybody you can think of that's been in the vlog news in the song. It's immersive. So if you listen to the song, um, enlighten the community and put in the comment section which verses you like um, <laughs> and things and things. Anyway, people, let's proceed to the next. Okay, people, Jada Kingdom is back in the news again because of Nicki Minaj. But she's also mourning the loss of her friend. As you know, dancer gringo, I mean unknown gringo. <laughs> oh, boy. He was murdered the other day. You see me? I said, no police is saying that, you know, he um, was being, how should I say, investigating for lottery scamming. Now, I don't know why that would come out after his death. Uh, maybe they're trying to say a motive. Maybe somebody put a hit on him. I'm not sure. Similar say, uh, I mean, no, Jay, the kingdom says she, he was a good man to her. You know what I mean? All I send her money and a check for her and things and things. But back to what I was saying with Nicki Minaj. It looked like, said they, Jay, the kingdom, which girl freestyle caught her attention. Which girl can say she stress me out? Yes, which girl? As you know, it was featured on a trill type dancehall beat. It's a mess. So, you know, Jada Kingdom is mixing the two, or I should say, a fusion. And I mean, because you know, she used to date the drill rapper and chill out with the drill queen, um, Asian Brat. It's a mess. But nevertheless, a lot of people were saying, Yo, Nikki, you need to sign Jada. You see me? I said, I that made it say all over the place in the comment section, and boom. I guess Nicki Minaj caught wind of the freestyle, you see me? As she is now following Jada Kingdom and leaving comments all over her social media page. Also, she ended up following her next Dolly, and you know we're talking about Maya, and you see me? I said, so Nicki Minaj is still out here following Jamaican artists, which is a good look because we all family, right? Except for Shensia, <laughs> as fans were quickly um, noted in the comment section that Shensia still not get a follow from Nicki Minaj. As you can see, I'm just a messenger, don't crucify me. But you know, Nicki Minaj don't F with them horses. And you know, Shensia and Megan the Stallion are like friends, <laughs> you know what I mean? Close friends. I you know, Shensia is cool with Cardi B. You see me, I say, two people that Nicki Minaj a ramp with is it so with that being said we know one of the mirage and minaj i should say um <laughs> it's not into shensia while the other one is but we know Nicki minaj mother loves shensia like i don't want to say like her child but she love her dearly you know what i mean it's a massive but as you can see shensia still not get followed but back to Jada Kingdom, if it was the witch girl freestyle that made Nikki um, follow Jada, put in the comment section, do you think a collaboration in the future is near? You know what I mean? Because, you know, we did the review that Jada Kingdom was dropped from, you know, her record label. Um, but if she's still on, you know, that's Drake's label mate. You see me? I say, oh, boy. <laughs> People put in the comment section. What do you think about that? It's a massacre. Like, you know, we got the 5 9 remix with Lisa Mercedes, Pompite, and them. You see, me, I say, I'm just like, giving an update while I go on for not go on. You see, let's proceed to the next. Now, we'll listen to Ivan, his landlord, you know, talk about this hard deal again. But this time, she's going to add some new details. She's speaking specifically about Ivan calling the police 
you know, to the premises. <laughs> I mean, that's a, yeah. For something that isn't even true, that it was, it, it, it was going too far. It just was too far. There was no reason for all of this. She could have texted me. She could have called me. She had my number. She knows. She don't know where I live. But she has my sister's information. She could have found any way to get in contact with me to express how she felt. I mean, she chose not to. And then everybody has so much to say. Let me tell you something. I've always been a realist my whole life. My whole life. So if I say something, I'm going to stand on it. When she said what she said, I did say last night that I was wrong for not making the time to clean the unit. In which I said I'm going to go tonight even though I'm going to get home late to clean it. Because if that is your only reason of why you're doing all of this, then I go clean it and I make the time so I can make you comfortable. Right? So then what are you going to say after that? Because I already blocked you. So you can't say I, I said something to you. Because when I first heard about the messages, I didn't say nothing. But when I started to see you escalating, I called her and she rejected my phone call. Saying that she she was partying and she was doing it. No, you weren't partying. You answer your phone just like you say your phone's always in your hand. Your phone's always being used. Well, just like it was important then, it should have been important now because at the end of the day we pay way more than what they pay in that house we pay way more and there was never any consideration about the things that we have going on when it came to Vani never was there any consideration that bill is 2947 you pay five hundred dollars out of that that's 2447 okay 2447 you claim this girl paid $700 if $700 was missing out of that right from the 24 that would have been 1747 left for me to pay right right so at the end of the day when you guys are late that's an extra 125 on us never has anybody been considerate about our bills about our responsibility about what we have going on I don't know who this chef makes barbie oh that's my cousin one second hey mama hello girl me no business <laughs> i'm trying I don't even know. I, I don't even know who she was. I just was expressing my feelings. But I am right now on live, you know, venting because I'm so frustrated. People are just ridiculous. This is why I didn't want to use my page because I knew this was going to happen. No, because you say something and, you know, like people, they have clout chasers or they have people that they that they really like and they got what they call them. What's the word? What's the word? Son, why you, why you do so? Um, you know, like, um, Miss Dot Godfrey Dot here. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I know. You know what? You know I'm very, listen. You know I'm very, very, very calm. I'm very quiet. I stay to myself. I don't you know do all the mix up but when I saw some of the things and heard some of the things that were going on I had to you know you know me the girl you was talking to looked familiar I don't remember who she is she was the one that was staying at the house she's still there you know she called the police today right and she say she she wasn't even at the house remember she, well you don't remember but yesterday she stayed at an airbnb that's what they told me on 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 um instagram right she stayed at an airbnb she called a police in the morning well in the afternoon and then ain't she no met the listen her name is cheese ain't it her name cheese yeah, I, that's not the girl i'm talking about though listen listen so then the girl called the police and arrived five minutes before they got there 
my sister sent me a screenshot said why the police here and then she said shh, shh, shh. i'm trying to listen to what they're saying and she's texting me saying that bonnie said that i posted her address i said her address Last time I checked, my name is on the lease. Second of all, it wasn't intentional. And when she texted me that I said, you know, I didn't even, you know, recognize. I didn't notice that I didn't block it out. I just was sending the messages. That's what I was doing. So then. Hold on. Who's Ivani? The girl from Jamaica? Yes. So then the police came and tell her there's nothing we can do. Right? She said, I don't feel safe. People can come hurt me. First of all, if you had enemies and they were coming to hurt you, they were coming to hurt you now, okay? Um, they would have been came and hurt you, right? Because people know how to find people. They, it ain't that hard, okay? Just like it wasn't that hard. Never mind. None of my business. Let me just stay on task. Um, anywho, so then my sister texts me, and I said, you know, I don't understand why she's doing this, right? Because at the end of the day, I'm going the wrong way, by the way. Um... I said, I don't know why she's doing this. I like, guess it's, it's unnecessary. Yes. I didn't know. I'll let you know. You know how I am. You know I'm very, I'm very loving. I'm very caring. And you know I don't pay attention to all that other stuff. So I didn't know. And I didn't know to go research that because it came from a, a reliable source. It was, you know, your sister. So for me, I thought, you know, well, your sister said it, so no big deal. You know, if she trusts her, I trust her, right? So what is she talking about a sponsor? So, you know, your brother's, your sister is her sponsor. And so what happens is, is she say that her sponsor put her in a bad position and that she loved her sponsor so much. Her sponsor did this, 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 that. I can't tell you that we're on live. Oh, oh, okay. So, anywho, she said her her sponsor got her this, 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 that, but she never said I'm the one who took her to Walmart to go get it, right? She never said that I helped her take it apart and put her bed together. She never said that I gave her stuff to help her put it to put her room together. She never said that. She never say all the good things that I did for her or anything. She tried to scrutinize my name, making it seem like I'm just so evil. Like I'm the only person that was even involved in this situation. I am just the messenger. For all these mixed up people, you're not even in this rarity type of business. That's what I said. That's what I said. I'm not even this type of person, but now you have took it too far. And I need to go. You're crazy. I can't believe this shit. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> I'm going the wrong way. No, and then she said all these things about me. You know what? I, I do many things. But what she said is true. I would never. I would never. Then you do it on social media. Like... Who does that? And I text her and I said, look, I don't know how we even got to where we are right now. Everything However, we should be doing, if you're going to be on social media, at least be positive. Be a role model. Be something that's productive. You know what I'm saying? You wasting time talking about me and then lying about it. You know, like when you, you know that game and it's like 10 people and then you, you whisper and you tell somebody. You whisper and you tell somebody something and then they got to go around and to the last person and it's never the truth. Well, that's what she do. She tell a story that she then went around and had to think about, came to many different people to come up with this consensus of what she thought was going to happen and, or what she think if people going to believe and then she say it. Right? And then she say it. Right? And then she tell the world that she doing this and I'm doing that. And it ain't even true. Not even close. Not, she has called the police three times to my house, telling them twice. In the voice recording, you can hear the police saying, well, they can't just kick you out. No one ever said that we were kicking her out. What I said was, is our lease that you're in this house on is over April 1st, 2023. I said, and I 
repeated it multiple times in a text message and I repeated it multiple times to her prior to her even getting on social media is that you guys got to start looking for a location because we're not going to renew the lease. Number one, we're paying too much out of pocket. I shouldn't be paying out of pocket if I have people who are living in the unit. I shouldn't be. Right. Right. I, I just shouldn't. I shouldn't be paying anything if you ask me. Right. So then. So she don't pay no bills? She pays $500 out of the $29.47 that we pay. $500 and she's complaining about her being late and paying a hundred dollar late fee that I communicated with her about that she agreed and then started to disagree I assume because she went on and was talking to cheese and she said no oh, that's not right because she made up some story and told her lawyer saying that I told her that a fee that was late at the last minute which was never true before she paid I text her and I said hey you know when I first messaged her, I said, hey, you know, there's a late fee of $100. She never texts back. I text her again, hey, you know, are you gonna, when are you planning on paying your rent? Your rent is due. She never texts back. I did it again. She never texts back. I didn't text her sponsor, who she caused mix up between me and my sister in law because she was making it seem as if my sister in law was talking about me. You know, your sister was talking about me behind my back. So I asked her. And it's inst inst well, no, I take that back. I didn't ask her until after I reacted. Before, when she told me, then I reacted and I said, How could you do that? And you don't want to bring this girl in our life and you tell me to help her, but you talk about me behind my back. And she said, Me never say that after the fact. So me and her got in a whole altercation and me and her never, ever had a problem. Ever. You hear me? Ever. Huh? Uh -huh. So then what after the that, one, yeah. and then after that, me and her talk about it, and she was telling me all the stuff that was going on. I'm going in a circle. Okay, hold on. Let me get the GPS. Because yeah, what is it? I'm just hearing about all of this. Where was I? You know, you be in and out, town. You dealing with your children, and that's your priority. Let me put on this GPS because I'm driving and I shouldn't even be driving in the car with my children um, with my phone in my hand. I shouldn't. You got both the, you got both the kids with you? Uh huh? You know me, me stay with my children now. Me a full time mom, you yeah? hear? Full time. Oh, tell Auntie hi for Mama. Hi, Pookie. Oh, Lord. You need to stop that. Okay, you need to stop that. You stop. You're not even making no sound. You didn't hear him all back there yelling. I heard him earlier. No, stop. Mm -hmm. I didn't even hear the, the um. So let me tell you. Junior text me. No. Junior say, your sis my sister needs us to, to, um, to hold her spon well, to let her sponsor stay at the other house because we have rooms available. I say I don't think it's a good idea. Right? We were already having issues with one of the um with one of the um what's that? one of the tenants. So I was like I don't think it's a good idea because she was selling drugs on the units and she was prostituting and all type of stuff, you know? So I said I don't think it's a good idea. He did it anyway. So I said, whatever, shoot, whatever. Your sister said it, then I'll just go along. So then after that, um, she, she, for the first, like, no, I think two days after, your sister texted me asking me to take her to Walmart to get her stuff and get her phone fixed. So I said, okay, she bought her a bed, she bought her a, a, a box spring, she bought her TV and a comforter set. Yeah, so then I, I took her to Walmart to get it. And then I took her to the mall to go get her phone fixed, right? 
So we were at the mall for at least three, four hours because we didn't have an appointment. So we were there waiting, right? No big deal. She was telling me about TikTok and Instagram because I told her I wanted to start a motivational page. I just didn't know how to get started, right? So then after that, um, she said she want to work. I said, have you ever worked? I have a cleaning business. Have you ever worked like with Airbnbs or have you ever um, worked commercial? She say in Jamaica, she used to clean Airbnbs. So I took her word for it. I didn't go accreditate her and make sure that she was credible. I didn't do all of that because your sister said she was a reliable, commendable woman. So I say, no problem. I took her for the first day. She didn't come back. I paid her out of pocket that same day, right? She said, she's going to come, she's going to come. She never came back to work. No big deal. I handled it myself. I offered the opportunity because she said she won't work. So I told um, your brother to start helping her find jobs because she said she want to find a job that's underneath the table. So I tell him because she don't have her papers yet. So no big deal. He started to look. Okay. After that, then he said um, he can't find nothing right no big deal so I tell her she said oh I'm just gonna go back on TikTok and uh, make money I said no problem so then I tell her that I'm starting a TV show she said come on my TV show we just talk about different topics I sent her a list of topics that I wanted to communicate about for the first few series right she said oh you know she never texts back what topic she want to do but then she texts me back recently saying that well a few weeks after that saying that um she was ready to do the live or something and i never communicated with her about no live show what i told her is that she can come to the house and we can record and then i post it on youtube that's what me said so then after she claimed that she never i she told me about how much money she was making on tiktok which is false she we never discuss money ever the only time we discuss money is when she asked me how much she gonna get paid for cleaning and i paid her 50 percent of what i made for each cleaning that day so how am i selfish right then she said on top of that that she um what she said we were on youtube right text she was gonna make money on TikTok and all this other stuff. I said, oh, okay. She said, this is how you make money on TikTok. And she said um, that she's gonna post a YouTube, um, I guess, video on her channel to talk about how she make money and how other people can make money. Never did I ask her, can you show me how to make money on there? And never did she discuss how she made money. She just say that she was gonna post a video and to talk about how you make money doing Instagram and TikTok. She said, just watch it there. I said, oh, okay, cool, no problem, right? So then, after that, she started, um, she told me, I think this is still in the beginning the weeks that she was here, maybe like week two, week three. She said she was going to Connecticut, right? No problem, she said, I don't know if I'm going, I gotta find a parking spot. I don't know if I'm going to um, to stay, but I plan on moving to Connecticut with my family because my family is important to me and I wanna be closer to them, no problem. But then I find out from her social media, she says she blacked her mom because her mom was bad minding your sister, which who does that? That's your mom, who does that? Who does that? Then people say she don't have any guidance. You know why she don't have any guidance? Because everybody that tried to teach her something, she can't learn from because she tried to to block them out. I want to live my life. So then go live your life the way you want to live it. She's not a bad person. I don't either. That's what I said. I do not do that. But you know, I'll be right back. Huh? She's not a bad person. She just got bad habits. Sometimes it's curious thing different, you know. 
I know. Not... I told you I have a good heart, and I know good I met her before no, all of this. So in my good mind, heart, good heart commit good thinking. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So if, if you if you see the devil and say, well, oh, he's an angel, you go have him as an angel, and yeah. then I can him terrorize you. Yeah. So, so she's the devil. Yeah. So she's a devil. <laughs> okay. She's the devil, Papa. She's the devil. <laughs> <laughs> Come now. So then, after. Are so you home now? No, no, no. You know, I had the cleanings today, and all my cleaners were out of town or busy doing the other cleanings. We had commercial properties today, so I have all of the Airbnbs, unfortunately. So then, after that, right? She said, uh -huh. um, she said she may not come back. She don't know. She planned on moving to Connecticut with her family. So I guess something happened. Later on, I find out because she tell me when I take her, right? Mm -hmm. um, she she tell me that she um, got into it with her sister and that um, her sister kicked out of the car and she had to find a way home and she had to take a flight and she left her stuff. And so I said, okay. Um, she said she not leaves. So I said, okay, no big deal, no problem. So I tell her sponsor, I said, well, she have to start paying rent because she can't stay here for free. Yeah, you can't live so, rent free. So she talked to her. Mm -hmm. So my husband said, you know what? She not pay rent the first month because um, we never talked about it. She start paying the next month, right? So I. I said, right. okay, no problem, but she paid a light bill, which was $55, right? So when she started mm -hmm. paying a light bill, she has said, every month there's a new fee. Me text all of them, all three of them, you hear? All three of them in a message me saying hey it's the last day of the month right mm -hmm. she said me not text her no standard day that bills will we made the decision that you were gonna start paying rent right we we not make her pay right but she started well, if it look like story come to our bum for now, people, you see me? I said, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell to be notified when we drop the latest in the dance on news, music, reviews, and gossips. Bless.